that accomplishment from Aberdeen to Amarillo and it's a lot of basketball games and a lot of wins? Well, uh, 500 wins symbolizes a lot of games and a lot of stress, but uh, you know what? What to me it means is you've got good family support, really good players that have played for you for a long time, and and great assistant coaches. And uh, so it's much more of a reflection on the people that have been around you. And that's you know that's what I'm proud of is the kids I've worked with and the coaches I've had the privilege to coach with. How many losses do you have? I don't know. It's a lot more, a lot more than I like. I know that. I want to say like it's. I would think it would be between. You know, 180 and 200. So you've you coached over almost 700 games? Close to yep. Over. Yeah. Yeah, getting close. Yeah. Well, based on how you played last night, getting ready for the postseason, uh, two seed, how, how would you assess how your team is ready to go? Well, you know, we've had a good second half of district. We went, we've gone undefeated in the second half of district, which is, you know, which is pleasing to us. We feel like our team has not only improved, but maintained some consistency uh, throughout the second half. and. Uh, so, you know, we ended up uh, avenging the two losses in the first half of district. So we've, we've been on a good on a good roll in this stretch. We know that, you know, that could end at any time, and it's important that we stay focused, and we'll use these next six days uh, to get ready for that first round of the playoffs. But, but certainly pleased with how our kids came down the stretch in district. Talk about your playoff matchup that you have coming up now. We're going we're gonna to be going up against Lubbock High. Um, you know, at this stage, we don't know a whole lot about them. I think it's a good matchup. I don't think either of us uh, have a whole lot of size, and that's that's kind of, as you as you well know, our our team this year at Paladura is is not big at all. So we actually will be facing up against a team that that has uh, similar personnel to us, and I think on certain nights plays a very similar style. So should be an interesting matchup. Might be a fun game. Uh, might be a lot of points scored. You know, I'd be willing to bet that the four teams that make the playoffs out of this district could make a run at two, three, four games deep into the playoffs. How much does this district prepare you, you know, to go up against other districts? Well, I think our district is extremely tough this year, and I think there's just a, you know, a razor thin difference in the four teams going to the playoffs, and I think that kind of is illustrated when you look back at the games and. The, in district play, so certainly our district is a is a tough one, and it and it's going to prepare you for the playoffs. I can't imagine uh, coach wanting more preparation going into the playoffs than what we've had this year. So great coaches, great teams throughout the district, and just highly competitive games. Just so many games that came down to the wire where you've your kids have been exposed to, and you've coached at all different game type situations.